Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nandipa, if you don't already know, thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are my regular viewer, thank you so much for coming back. And today I am bringing you my skincare routine. It's really very, very simple, but really important skincare routine that you should actually try and do at home. Just a disclaimer, this routine works for my skin type. It might not necessarily work for yours, so please find a routine that actually works for your skin type. Enjoy the video. And um, if you do like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, big thumbs up, and as well as make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be washing my hands because it's very important to actually be hygienic. Make sure your hands are very nice and clean before you touch your face. Okay, let's get into the video. I'm going to be pre-cleansing. Pre-cleanse is extremely important. Now I'm using an oil base um, pre-cleanser and you might be thinking why oil? Because oil attracts oil. Okay, whether you've got dry skin or you've got an oily skin, it is very important to actually pre-cleanse your skin because what the oil is going to do, it is actually going to help to break down um, with the impurities on your skin, with all the um, dirt on your skin. You cannot find one. What I'm actually using is I'm using um, jojoba or jojoba as well as I'm mixing it with avocado oil. We all know that jojoba has, um, is very close to our skin sebum, so that's pretty good. And then I'm using avocado because my skin does tend to be a little bit dry. So I'm just mixing the two um, oils together. So we're literally just going to be cleaning our skin. This is also a perfect if you're a person that wears makeup as well, because it's really going to help to um, clean your skin thoroughly with the makeup so you can do it as a step as well um, so yeah when you give yourself um, home facials guys just make it more relaxing you know just pretend you are somebody else is giving you the facial it's all good you can make it you can Put it into your me time. Giving you the facial and just nice and relaxing. Just make it part of your me time. You know, it's just one of those things, especially if you've had a really stressful day, whether at work or at home, wherever it may be. So it's always good to pamper yourself. So just use this time to really pamper yourself. Just nice, slow movements. Try not to drag your skin and you know, just be really gentle with yourself. And focus especially around the nose area if you're a person with a lot of oily skin or blackheads or blocked pores. Just focus on those areas where you really need it the most. good to just work on your um, jawline area just give it a nice massage and don't forget your neck area clearly not wearing the clothing for this but okay my cleanser so this actually helps me to save on my cleanser as well because now my skin is nice and um, wet so you don't need as much of your cleanser so I'm just doing, gonna apply it on 
I'm not going to spend too much time applying it on because I'm going to be using a uh, my brush to actually clean my skin thoroughly. So. So I'm using a Clarisonic brush. There we go. Okay, so I'm using a Clarisonic brush and then Not forgetting the neck. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken out the big part. I'm just going to be using it on my nose. It's just so much easier to actually um, reach the smaller areas like your nose, especially the side of the nose, if you take out the big part. So you literally just remove this part and then you can just use it around those areas. And also what's important guys, if you have long hair, even if you're weaves, make sure you always focus on the areas where you have your hair. Because remember, when you have your hair um, on your face, you basically have all the oils and everything that you have on your face so make sure if you've got bangs you focus around those areas and then if you've got your hair flowing on the side of your nose make sure you get um to focus on those areas just to help to prevent any breakouts as well so yeah and then after that i'm just going to wash my face okay to dry my face i have a special towel just for my face so that i only use for my face Make sure that you always keep this towel clean so wash it after um, after every time you actually dry your face when you finish with your skincare routine make sure you wash your cloth because it is very hygienic to actually do that so um, and make sure that when you wash it you wash it separately to uh, separately to your normal towels that you use because again this is mainly for the face you do not want it to be in contact with anything else so that's extremely important hygiene because this is close to your skin so at this stage if you want to exfoliate your skin if you feel your skin is not cleansed enough you're more than welcome to um, to use an exfoliator but for myself my skin is absolutely feeling amazing and it's looking brighter so the next step I'm going to be doing is I am going to be using a toner I ran out of toner so I'm actually using um, apple cider vinegar mixed with water so it's Now, um, people are always wondering, is it important to actually use a toner for your skin? Um, I mean, what does it do and everything else? Firstly, let me tell you this. The myth, the myth is people still believe that toner helps to close your pores. Now, let me tell you. You cannot close your pores. Your pores are not meant to be closed, first of all. Because your pores actually help you to cool you down when you sweat, when it's hot. So that's what they do. So um, you need that perspiration to actually come out of your skin. I understand some people have very large pores, but no, the toner is not there to actually close the pores. What it's there for, however, it's actually helping to balance the pH of your skin. Because when you clean your skin, you're using water and I'm using the water, water does tend to throw off the pH of your skin. So when you're using your toner, you're actually helping to balance back the pH of your skin. So this is why you actually um, need to use a toner. So, yes. And then the next step I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using my 
serum. Oops, it's a daisy. Using, I'm actually going to be using a sheet mask just tore this off now this is the one that I'm actually going to be using um, it's my swan. okay so basically it says it's a hemp dreams sheet mask it's softening and hydrating Okay, so what I usually do is that whatever is um, left, whatever product is left, I just apply it around the neck area. And I take it out of the bag as well. If there's anything. And then I'll just apply it around the neck. Never ignore your neck. It's part of your face, guys. That's where you see the first signs of aging around your neck as well as around um, your hands. So it's extremely important to take care of your hands as well as your neck. Now it's on time. Okay, so I'm just going to remove our mask. Mm. Oh, that was cold. Okay, there's a lot of product in there, so you just have to literally just work it in your skin. Hmm. I get to have another massage. And if you're a person that suffers um, from puffiness around the eye area, you can have a nice massage just along that area. Just try to drain that fluid. That was a long process, but okay, everything is finally in. So just tapping the last bit. Next up we're going to be doing, we're going to be using an eye serum. I use an eye serum, if you want to, you can use an eye cream. I prefer a serum or a gel because it's a lot lighter. And then I'm going to be applying it with my bowl over here, which is really just going to help um, with the stimulation of the product into the skin. And when you're using an eye treatment, make sure you use very little. If you do not have any of these balls, um, then use your ring finger. Literally just by tapping it along first. Give your area um, just a nice pressure that and then I'm going to apply another facial serum I know I know I know I know I have my serums neck 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 don't forget so you never want to just overload your skin with products just wait for it to absorb just a little and then you are going to be using your your cream, your moisturizer. So, again, just a. Uh, uh, my skin feels so hydrated and so plumped up. Oh, I love it. And of course, yes, the neck. Oh, my skin feels so good, so hydrated, and it looks so much brighter. Thank you so much um, guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much.